Nobody said it was going to be easy. Of course, nobody told you it was going to be this difficult either. So you set out with great intentions that you're going to get out in front of your month just as fast as possible. And then you're going to settle in as a marathon runner would and just cruise on into a great month. Well, it's over halfway through the month and things are looking pretty bleak, aren't they? Well, no fear. All is not lost. You still have time. Let me ask you this. If you were coaching a game and losing, would you stop coaching? And would you keep running the same plays that aren't working? Of course not. You would re-strategize and regroup. And the way back to a victory is it's the small things. The way back to a victory on the blacktop, it's the amount of ups. Chances are you're not catching enough ups that you once were. See, as the month went on, you got weary, you got beat up, you got battered, you got told no a whole lot, you had deals that almost came together and just fell apart at the last minute. And as those things pile up, you start working less. Well, now we got to figure out, I need to make $3,000 from now until the end of the month. It's a simple way to figure that out. And it takes all the emotion out of it. So let's say, again, $3,000 from now until the end of the month. Now we need to figure out your per copy basis. Let's figure that you're averaging $500 a copy. So at $3,000, divide that by your per copy, which is $500 for this sake. That means that you need to make six sales. But you don't stop there. Now you need to figure out how many customers you need to get in front of every single day. So now you need to figure out your closing percentage. Now keep in mind, the higher your closing percentage, the fewer customers you have to catch. The lower your closing percentage, you gotta catch more customers. So we need six sales, and let's say our closing percentage is 30%. Divide six sales, divide that by 30%, that means you get, need to get in front of 18 customers. And let's say there's 10 days left in the month. Divide those 18 customers, divide that by 10 days left in the month, and that means you need to get in front of 10, uh, two customers per day. Now, you need to figure out how you can find two customers. If it's fresh traffic, if it's referrals, if it's internet leads, if it's phone leads, if it's working the service drive, I mean, you're in the no huddle, two minute offense, and you've got to go whatever means necessary. You gotta find two customers, and you gotta work those demos, you gotta work your write-ups, and you gotta get a manager involved, which is your TO. Your manager is your teammate. He's there to help put them in for you. He's there to help put a deal together for you. Get him involved. Now, when you're waiting on a customer, your emotions are gonna be going crazy inside. This is where your mind starts playing the what if game. What if I don't make my month? What if I don't cover my draw? What if I don't make my mortgage? All those what if things. The trick to it is get in front of a customer just as fast as possible. When you're in front of a customer and working with a customer, you don't have time to think about all that other stuff. You don't have time to think about all that negative naysayer that's going on inside your mind. All you have time is to be relational and give all you can to your customer. Give it all you got, take the emotion out of it, break it down to a per day, per day basis, and you'll come out with a great month. This is hard time. This is testing time. It's not easy. It's not going to be easy, but I know you'll make it. Until next time, I'm Marsh Bice, and I'll see you on the blacktop.